After Trump won in 2016, his chief strategist Steve Bannon became the number one enemy of the media. I believe that just shows that Bannon was effective. Therefore, it was heartening to see Trump hail Steve Bannon at CPAC 2024 in Maryland this Saturday night. Trump even said that Bannon, quote, looked great. Stand up, Steve Bannon. Where's Steve Bannon? Where's Steve? Where is Steve? Stand up, Bannon. Where the hell is Bannon? Oh, he still looks good? But Bannon looks good. We love Steve. We love them all. We love them all. We have so many others in the audience, and I want to say hello, but we can't. Okay, so maybe he doesn't actually look good. But Bannon is a man of style and substance. He is reputed to live somewhat of a debauched lifestyle, so we hope that Bannon takes care of himself. Because you know what? We need him. So nice to hear some kind words to his old friend and colleague, Steve Bannon. And I don't know that Trump is going to rehire Bannon officially, but it seems as though Bannon is perhaps advising Trump on an unofficial basis. Uh, as I said, Bannon was Trump's chief strategist in the White House for only eight months after managing his campaign. Frankly, you know, Steve Bannon left after eight months, and it was a little bitter at the time. Trump gave him a little nickname that was not kind. And, hey, he had eight months on the job. I can kind of relate. Have you ever had a job that didn't last long? It's not a good look, but it happens to good people. Here's the deal. Um, I believe that Steve Bannon was a better advisor to Trump than Jared and Ivanka. And in fact, that seems to be the conflict. The conflict between Steve Bannon and Jared and Ivanka is what precipitated Bannon's leaving the White House based on media accounts. And so I think that history will tell that Bannon was a better advisor than Jared Kushner. I'm not a hater of Jared Kushner. I think he has some positive qualities, but he doesn't understand the Trump movement. Famously, when the Billy Bush tape came out, Steve Bannon was loyal to Trump in that he said, you're still going to win 100%, whereas the rest of the team were practically heading for the exits. So when things were tough, Bannon was there for Trump. And I think that Trump would be well advised to remember that and kind of pay it in kind. So there was a lot of friction in the White House when Bannon was there between Steve Bannon and Ivanka and Jared Kushner. And ultimately, Bannon got pushed out because there are some people in certain organizations that you just can't go against. And in this case, it was the president's daughter, which tends to argue against having your daughter work in the White House because perhaps Bannon was the better political operative. Perhaps Bannon had the better ideas than Jared and Ivanka. So, be that as it may, we can only hope that Trump is keeping Kushner at a very long distance from his inner circle. And, again, nothing really personal against Kushner, but I don't think Jared Kushner understands the Trump base. I think that Steve Bannon really does understand them. And don't forget, he worked in media prior to uh, joining the Trump team, and he was in charge over at Breitbart. Bannon had great insights and great instincts into what motivated the Republican base and even reaching voters that didn't previously vote. So Bannon is not like a establishment conservative figure, and he's so effective, and I believe that's why the media hates him. And I remember very clearly when Bannon was in the White House um, from 2016 to 2017 for those eight months. The media was hysterical about him, and I believe that Ivanka felt like she was worried about their PR with the media, which is completely misguided. Bannon was more like, we're going to war with the media and the left. Now, I think events have proved that Bannon's posture was more appropriate, considering all that's transpired since then. My name is Michael McCara. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my blog, michaelmccarablog.com. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, description is in my handle. And like this video and subscribe to my channel. I've only heard what love can do.